This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. Click the Fight TV link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com to support this show and watch pro wrestling, MMA, boxing, and so much more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash WrestlingMayhemShow. PodCamp Pittsburgh. Learn about podcasting, social media, and so much more. Join us September 30th and October 1st. Find out more at PodCampPittsburgh.com. Live from the Sorgatron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, ready to talk professional wrestling with a bunch of friends on the 588th rendition of this Tuesday Night Classic. Uh, but uh, with us, we got a whole crew with us. First of all, Larry back in the studio again. Hello. Hey, Larry. Hi. <laughs> Thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us and being so enthusiastic with us. Hi. Hey. Hi. Also with us on the couch, first of all, Chad the Shad back with us again. Hello. And our special guest for tonight, Calvin Couture, joining us. You're welcome, everybody. You're welcome. <laughs> We're, of course, going to be doing an Indie Mayhem show with you after this and, and coming up in the feeds in the coming weeks. Um, but uh, for the, the uninitiated, can you uh, tell people what to expect from Calvin Couture, uh, the wrestler? What you can expect from Calvin Couture is um, probably a little more than you've ever dreamed of or wanted to dream of. Um, I, I do a little bit of everything, and uh, I can guarantee by the time I walk to the ring, you're going to be uh, pretty jealous of what you see. So. There you go. I'll give you an idea. Of course, we had Katie Arquette a few weeks ago as well, and you're, you're kind of a, a team up with her yes. lately in the IWC. And to paint a picture for the audio listeners, uh, we're talking, he's rocking the bow tie. And like the sparkliest Jerichoist uh, shirt I've seen in a while, you're definitely competing for the best dressed with uh, Locked and Loaded right now. Uh, competing, Sorg? Come on. We'll leave everybody make, be the judge out there. Uh, also with us from Johnstown, PA, is Bobby F. J-Town, who, who we got to hang out with this weekend. Yeah, I was, I was at the show this weekend with you guys. A lot of fun. Um, I went on a road that I told everybody that was called Five Point Road. Um, it was like a very back country road. I would give it a 1.5. Mm. <laughs> it was, uh, and, and I avoided it by missing my turn. So, there you <laughs> go. Uh, well, yeah, uh, Bobby was, then you guys are going to have to check out the gold uh, for some of this, but Bobby was attempting to also dress up uh, for our guests, and, and you, you were trying to get a tie mm-hmm. going, on, going on there. Are you going to pull yeah, out the tie? Show them. It's a, uh, oh, that's oh, a dinosaur. Oh, no, that's a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon. Yeah, the, the tie. The tie failure. I was trying to dress up for in honor of our guest tonight, but mm-hmm. um, it's it's a it's a Christmas lights tie, mm-hmm. and it's not tied. I have to go to YouTube to find out how to tie a tie because I'm an idiot, <laughs> and you know, don't hold that against me. So, <laughs> so it's okay. We've all been there. I mean, I haven't been there, but I know most people have. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can uh, check this out. Everything uh, going on Wrestling Mayhem Show at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can join us live every Tuesday at Live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com. That points us to the Facebook page for the Facebook Live. That's where a lot of our chat room stuff is happening, but you can also find us on many of the other streams on Periscope for Mayhem Show, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show YouTube page, and also Sorgatron Media Twitch these days if you like to watch us live on those different platforms. But again, the big chat room's happening over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page, so please like and follow us over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I, uh, behind you, behind Calvin, is a Shawn Michaels stand-up, and your sparklies are just like all over his crotch in my eyeline. <laughs> it's just messing with me. So it's, Shawn, it's a Shawn Michaels stand-up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with I mean, I would say I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not. So <laughs> it's just it's just throwing me off. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, thanks for our friend. Uh, I don't think I'm enough basic sickness for our intro music for this in the Indie Mayhem Show. Check him out, basicsickness.com. Um, also, please at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Hit us up at the email address. Good times. Good times, Good times at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Larry, were you? Sorry. You've been here long enough. It was. I was. Uh, no, I was the feed. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm back. Hi. Oh, wait. We'll give you uh, one, one more. Good times? Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com <laughs> or the phone number of 412-206-WMS0 if you want to drunk dial us and tell us about what you think of wrestling. Um, also, please uh, subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Podcasts, as well as video versions on the Facebook and the YouTube page. And check out all the fine shows like Indie Mayhem Show, Midweek War, uh, The Raw Wrap-Up, where we talk way, way, way too much wrestling throughout the week um and thank you to our patreon supporters patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show including the fan of the show dollar level uh bo diggity everybody's got the woo everybody's down with the woo um ed burke alex cars bobby fj town that's you uh pocket exactly. club five dollar level tina keys Arr. out there on the west coast christopher bishop and at the pizza club ten dollar level is billy f and johnson as it's written for me to say in here uh, again please support us uh if you'd like my f if you like at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show and we have different options on there as so somebody just hit me up today about uh we do kind of have advertising options built in so you have something you want to get the word out on the wrestling mayhem show and need help like making a commercial that you can even maybe even use other places uh we have some levels to help you out there and, and integrate some of our sidekick media services uh with that as well to help support the show we appreciate everybody else who uh who has done that uh, thank you to everybody, uh, uh, current and former, who has supported the show and literally helping us keep the lights on here at the new studio. Also, I want to give a quick shout out we uh, to a friend of the show that's been uh, supporting us for a good while, uh, Brandon. Um, he's going to be taking part as a participant in the 2018 uh, Special Olympics as part of the Team Missouri Bowling Team. And they have a fundraising page going up. Uh, um, um, I think Missy's going to drop it in the chat room if you're with us live. And it'll be in uh, show notes for this as well as where I tweet out on social media as well. Um, so, again, a little bit of fundraising going on. So I want to, you know, if you guys, uh, if you want to forgo your Patreon or, or that, you know, Patreon you're going to be giving us eventually, and, and, and throw a donation over to um, um, his, his deal over there and help him uh, in his trip to participate in that, uh, please uh, go over there um, to uh, uh, give.somo.org. And uh, again, we'll have the full link uh, for that as well. So um, thanks, Brandon, for supporting the show for, for so long uh, between Patreon and, and, and just being a participant uh, in the chat room and on the group for, uh, for so long. And we do appreciate it. And we hope uh, we can uh, get the opportunity to give back to you here. So let's get into, of course, the big news is, hey, guys, there's a pay-per-view this weekend. What? what? Is, I know, right? Yeah, but like it's been eight years. I know it feels like it, right? We was talking with somebody this weekend. We went from from oh, there's a pay per view this weekend again to oh, when when are we having a pay per view again? Because it's been so long since SummerSlam. We've had like a five yeah, week. Count, it's been a hot second. If you don't count SummerSlam, it's been like two months. I'm oh. usually driving home from work every Sunday, thinking, oh shoot, I have to get to the pay per view. <laughs> there's no pay per view <laughs> because there was such a long anxiety. stretch of a paper. There was such a long stretch of there being. A pay per view almost every other week. Well, you're going to have to skip work on Sunday so you can come here because we're going to the, the N64 No Mercy tournament's coming back. Oh my God! Yes, I don't know if that's a positive I sound need, you just made. I need redemption for WrestleMania. You need redemption for WrestleMania? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why? The WrestleMania party we had the No Mercy game. Up. We did have it up. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna hold a satellite you, thunder. You weren't too crazy. It didn't. I don't remember who who was it. It was. Uh, you and somebody else. Mm. I don't know. There were three. There were three of us playing, and somebody was uh, doing a run in as Kane, and and just just ruined your day. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll be doing that. Um. Uh, I think. Uh, I think we got to set for about five p.m. So if you guys want to join us here at the studio here in Beachview, uh, there's an event over at the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page with all the details. And there will be. Uh, uh, Producer Missy has assured me there will be fabulous prizes. Yeah, but, I mean, you don't have a mic, but 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 I'm I'm just looking I for some kind of. Really there you go. Uh, but there's supposed to be spe- the fab- uh, Can you oh. give us any insight on what these fabulous prizes are? I think I'm gonna make everybody have to come just check it out. There's surprise fabulous they are prizes. Surprise, fabulous prizes, yes. Oh no. Suffice it to say <laughs> that some of them might also entail kitchen and oven and some good delicious things. Oh, you're talking baked goods. Potentially. You're talking baked goods. Potentially. Oh, no. Mm. I mean, there's going to be some other stuff other than just baked goods, but there will be baked goods. 
Nice, nice, nice microphone transition. There. I didn't realize I was on camera. That's all right. <laughs> just trying to mix it up. Just me looking off, bewilderingly, is not always. We should just leave it on Bobby next time. What's that? That works. There, there she is. Hey. Anyway, so no mercy is this weekend, or uh, no mercy mania, um, because. Uh, they're really they're really going balls the wall. It's at the Staples Center, so I think that has something to do with it, right? Um, we have Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman, which I think is oh, the. Oh, I can't wait. Bobby can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. Are, you, are you ready for two giant pieces it's of? It's gonna be just two pieces of giant pieces of ham, two slabs of ham, <laughs> <laughs> as, as Matt Carlin says. <laughs> I mean, it, and it's it, like it feels like what we should have had at SummerSlam instead of just throwing everybody at it. You know, I'm still kind of sad Samoa Joe's been been, been hurt for a while. But uh, as like, button. no, no, <laughs> I did use In the cough it, button. It's not going to matter. No, he did use the In cough life. button. In that's a man's cough. <laughs> um, but uh, but no, that, I think that's a big one. I think that's going to be. I keep forgetting that's the match because I feel like so much attention has been given to John Cena and Roman Reigns and not yeah. positively. You know, yeah. it's just like, oh, this is happening. They should have, they should have waited to WrestleMania, or this is gonna be a vocal train wreck, or man, Cena's such a dick, uh, or or whatever your angle is on it. They're gonna bury Strowman. Oh, jeez, it's it's almost like everybody knows Brock and Strowman's okay, so they don't worry about it. No, that no. promotes itself. Like they know it's coming, so they can put up with the Cena Roman stuff for whatever it's gonna be. And they just go, it doesn't matter. Brock and Braun, Braun's going to fight later. So <laughs> do whatever you want. I'd, but that's good. We're getting there. Mm-hmm. That's I'd be happy with see. just, I'd be happy with the main event of just Braun destroying Enzo again. <laughs> for, for like t- 30 seconds, right? No, no, for like 30 minutes. That'd oh, be great. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'd minute, like Iron to Man see, match. I'd like to see Brock and Braun inside the elimination chamber by themselves. Without the elimination chamber rules, like with the compartments and stuff, just let them throw each other through everything. Yeah, that'd be great. Alex out there saying is it is going to be a Haas fight, and uh, and, and, and this is the this is the thing that came up because you 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 had Roman by yourself by himself yesterday, um, um, pulling out pulling out old um um Cena versus Rock promos. Um, yeah, and playing and Tweet playing. Why are we watching this from 2012? Yeah, I was like, wait, I, I went, I went through this already. I was at that WrestleMania. I don't know. We don't need to do this again. Um, but uh, dropping a uh, Ask Alex Riley mm-hmm. was interesting, and everybody's. I, I read an article. And I think Cage Side sees that. Like, went into the. This has different levels to it, and I wanted the next line to be like an onion. Um, but uh, <laughs> but like you know like I. <laughs> Whatever backstage, whatever uh, with Alex Riley, um, who's apparently an actor in Hollywood now. Oh, I wanted him to come out as Iron Horse last night. Iron Horse? That would be amazing. Have you watched Glow? From Glow. Oh, geez. <laughs> that would yeah. be hilarious. Just him riding a, a motorcycle out. Well, honestly, he'd be more over in that character as than he was. Oh yeah, definitely. When he was in WWE, so. And he gets the girl but, at least for the night. Then he's yeah. open on on the back of the, the motorcycle. Jeez. Can we just can can he be the run in for this match? Yeah, <laughs> on the motorcycle. It's Alex Riley. <laughs> yeah, Roman, you say something stupid, then Revenge of Riley. Riley. Yeah, exactly. Heard you were talking about me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Otherwise, in this match, uh, let's see. We got the uh, tag team uh, championship uh, being defended. I don't even know who. Are, are we down to just the bar and uh, and and the almost shield? Yes. So yeah. I don't know. It feels like everybody's been fighting over the last few weeks. <laughs> the like tag division has been very competitive. Has it been? Yeah, it's been crowded. Yeah, that's what it, that's what it feels like. It, it yeah. feels like that thing, like the women's match that now has like five people attached to it. It's like, like, what is this? And again, we're just throwing people, like entire divisions into matches. See, I, I don't think, I think the tag team has been a lot, tag team division has been a lot more focused. Not, not as mm-hmm. willy nilly. Mm-hmm. Because each of them, I thought the tag division is actually really good right now because there's actual teams mm-hmm. of people yeah. who have a direction. And they're all working towards one thing, and each other team just happens to be in their way. 
the Hardys are kind of bouncing around a little bit and you know the intercontinental stuff and they can do that yeah. i feel like but then you have um gallows and anderson and they're i feel like not too far away from being in a, a contender right the way they've been they go not obviously you know they're kind of the secondary they should be the top heels in that company they should the be tag division there's no I'm reason i'm kind of glad they're keeping them in the picture though mm-hmm. and even though they, they always take the pin yeah, yeah, but still, like they have, they have better they have better people to work with right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's what it comes down to. You have more quality people, like uh, Ambrose and Ambrose and Rollins, actually really good for the tag division because be, them being tag champions means all the other ones can fight each other without the titles up for grabs, mm-hmm. which means you can have better matches between each other and working towards something. And I always thought. To a degree, chasing titles is always more exciting than having someone defend it for a long amount of time. And any time you have a division like that, or the women's, that you can have like enough that enough talent and time that they can have a secondary feud, not around the belt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. When's the last time you saw a, a rivalry that wasn't for the title? I just think it it can, it yeah. can just get very congested on on Raw to yeah. the point where. You know, they just can't have anything like that. I know I'm ready for a new team, though. I think we got to shake it up a little bit. I, I will say different. I miss the revival. I think that's I think mm. that's the missing thing, right? Because I, I mean that, that's revival. somebody who's supposed to be there, and, mm. and, and then mm-hmm. they got where well, one of them got injured, unfortunately. Yeah. So yeah. I almost like partially like eh, kind of wish they kept the other guy around at least to do something. But you know, he'd just be kind of in that dauber, dauber spot for a while, right? So right. they're much better as the team. Um, John Cena in the chat room, uh, Baylor versus Wyatt, the return of Harper and Roman, uh, to help Bray Gallows and Anderson, uh, come out and start the club. Then we have like kind of the, like shield Wyatt's situation from before, which that, was fun. That would when it require was Balor to turn heel or vice versa. I don't and think I, he has to. I don't think he has hmm. to. Does he? Uh, yeah, you, <laughs> You did lose the privilege to speak. <laughs> He's been kind of, I think that the way that his character is right now, it wouldn't be too much to turn him heel. Mm-hmm. Like legit. And he I'm is, a huge Balor He does fan. have his dark side that he's been talking about. Exactly. And, and, even, demon and even his approach to like things, promos and such, it's not as like light and airy as it was with, you know, the flip of the collar and just like cool mm. Finn Balor. It wasn't the you know mysterious demon Finn Balor. It was the it, fawn spin. The... That was a really good promo. Hey. <laughs> See, right now though, I feel fawn. like if they if they did do that, he would be like such a cool heel. He would mm-hmm. be on yeah. the cool heel train where people, I don't know. It. it I want to see really it. Good heel in Japan too, but I don't. At the same time, he doesn't have to be a bad guy as a bad guy. True. Like, like I, I again, I think the, the club the, in the general. Aren't the club in general, when you look at them in their New Japan and, and their Ring of Honor uh, iterations, are the cool bad guys that everybody's cheering mm-hmm. for anyways, right? So mm-hmm. I don't think, you know, Shield versus Wyatt's, people liked both of them at the time, you know, to some extent. So, yeah. you know, you're not really losing that bit. Good guys can be jerks, too. Yeah, exactly. Stone Cold Era, you know, or Roman Reigns. Enzo. Yeah, Roman Reigns, right? I don't. What, what is a Ro- Roman at this point? He's just Roman doing Roman things. He's an he's the guy. Um, he's not a good guy. He's not a bad guy. He's and, the guy. And Andrew's saying in the chat that you know, it, you know, kind of what we're saying. The Baylor and the club would get cheered, or at least, or at least heat share. Um, so it, it doesn't matter who would you you would pit them against. You know, it, it, it just would. I think would work with. It, it, they get to be them. Tina's comment. She says. Could a oh uh, authors of pain get called up? That's been rumored. Is is it, but it, it seems right. They seem ready. Um, Do they? For the, mo- for the most part, uh, they were having good matches. I no, I'm, I mean, I don't watch that much of their stuff. I was actually they're still, I wasn't like doubting. They're, I just, they're still green. But the last thing I they saw, can they can carry matches. The last match I saw oh. them with was DIY in mm-hmm. that ladder match. So which was amazing. Mm-hmm. What is they they do they do very well for being as new. As they are, mm-hmm. I've, I've been surprised multiple times with the uh, the amount of workload that they've had to pull through certain matches just to make everybody else look good. They've done a real good job. Mm-hmm. So, their match of sanity was good too. 
Yeah. Uh, Tom's in the chat room uh, says, ha, finally someone else thinks that Finn is a reincarnation of Fonzie. <laughs> hey. So, hey. Not wrong. As long as he doesn't jump a shark boy. <laughs> dump the, he's going to jump the demons. <laughs> mm, mm. The demon shark? The demon shark. Demon shark. Sure. Hey, that was that was part of the uh, the Dungeon of Doom. Is there <laughs> shark? Is there going to be a third Finn Balor persona? Ooh, three faces of Balor. I, I saw somebody said <laughs> something it, about that. Is it but, because in Dancing Finn, <laughs> is it Ted, Ted Blue Suede Blue Suede Finn, dude Balor, <laughs> dude Balor, <laughs> Fonz Balor, <laughs> Fonz Balor. Yeah, anyone? Hey. Yeah, back. yeah, Comb- <laughs> Happy days, happy days, Balor. Oh, he hits a jukebox, <laughs> comes out. But I, I had started, I forget where I seen it, but since he was referencing both himself and the demon, and then just kind of was vague about the in between, mm-hmm. he made it seem like he might have said there was somebody else responsible for him and the demon or something. What if it's gold dust? Oh, oh gold man. dust is his dad it was me yeah. the whole time <laughs> just saying he's, I, he's, he's his golden Paul Bear. demon Paul he's his Paul Bearer. <laughs> um oh by the way speaking speaking of Rhodes family i did talk to a uh, friend of the show nick nick lendl who did the announcing during the the cody Rhodes ring thing that yes. i think we talked about on the show yeah i asked him what the ring tasted like <laughs> and and he said like a drink <laughs> So, just want to put uh, that see, out there. I see what he did there. That's yeah, good. Uh, that's good. Yeah. So, he should have said pork and beans. <laughs> pork and beans. <laughs> um, we'll get some other Rhodes controversy here in a little bit, but I want to uh, touch base on the rest of No Mercy. Of course, the women's match, like we talked about, uh, which just has the entire division in it. Uh, Bailey came back and got added to it. Emma, uh, everybody forgot about Emma on Monday night. Uh, but Can't hey, she's still she's still she's still part of that match too, according to the website at least. There's another person in that match now. <laughs> so it's, yeah. That's a fatal four way, also. That's a fatal five way. Fatal five way now. That, that I, is, I got I got the joke. Yeah. I got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> One of the two men's coming in for four. I, I won't I won't no sell that joke. <laughs> All right, um, but uh, yeah, so I, I I hope just you know Emma wins and surprises everybody. Let's do something different here. Mm-hmm. No, no. Yeah, that's, 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 that'd, be, that'd be a nice surprise. Mm-hmm. That'd be interesting. Another nice surprise would be having a one-on-one match. <laughs> <laughs> There's but, too many of them. They're waiting for Oscar. Wait, here's a question: Is Mickey James still technically on Raw? Yes. What? Yeah. What's going on with that? She lost to Emma, so that Emma still had the right to tweet. Horrible. Was that the last time she was on Raw? That was the last women's time revolution. she was on Raw. She started the women's revolution. That's what it was. That's what, that's she, right. She's working mm-hmm. with Dana Brooke on stuff. On main event? Dana Brooke won a fitness award. On uh, not, yeah. uh, not being on Raw. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dana, They're just hanging out. Bobby's there. right, too. Dana Brooke won a fitness award. So yeah, that's what she's that. been doing. Cool. All right, the, the, what is she Instagram or tweeted? World's, she Instagram or tweeted. World's strongest soccer mom. <laughs> <laughs> what? Damn, Bobby. Damn. Wait, what? Da- Dana? Yeah. Dana Brooks she sounds like some a bad stuff, mom. man. Jeez. She's just trying to get through. Jeez. Yeah, leave Dana alone. Yeah. Uh, like Bobby, Dana. quit picking on she Dana. She sounds like a soccer mom. Oh, jeez. Um, Don't go to the targets, everybody. <laughs> Do push ups. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what, is your, what is your interpretation <laughs> of Dana Brooke here? I, I think he's he's, re, he's making a comparison of like some like little Italian woman from Goodfellas. Andrew That's says sounded like. Andrew says that she could squat a minivan. Probably could. <laughs> That's why she's the world's strongest soccer mom. Oh geez, I forgot what point I was going to make off of that. Um, oh no, she tweeted uh, a, a, a poor soul at Raw last night with a picture that says, "I paid to see Dana Brooke," and man was <laughs> oh, and man oh, was that one disappointed. <laughs> but anyways um and of course we do have an intercontinental championship match so that is a surprise at a pay-per-view uh mm-hmm. but it's with jason dort yeah yay <laughs> we do not care about jason jordan <laughs> I, I want to yeah yeah he i not, to not i really feel like to not wear the oh good i i just say i really feel like they broke um Gable and Jordan up too soon. 
for nothing. Yes. Does anyone or, else feel yes. like that, nothing. or is that for just nothing? No, like there's nothing. no reason. It's, it's not like they weren't connecting. They mm-hmm. just like won a belt and then weren't on TV for a month. Right. The writers this are re- idiots. <laughs> this is going to be a recurring theme. The writers are idiots. American. Hmm? Oh. Go ahead. I was gonna, I was going to say um, this is going to be a recurring theme, but American Alpha needs the revival. Hmm. Everybody needs the revival. <laughs> To get over as a tag hey, team, you know what this team, you know what Ryder, you know what the Hype Bros need the revival, no. right? No, 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 they need no, <laughs> no. They're they're too far gone. They're too far gone. But we also didn't get any fashion police tonight, so I hope they come up on two hundred five yes. live. Oh, yeah. Very bad. Because that was amazing last week when they came up on two hundred five live. Miss, like, Missy was showing me some gold from Drew Gulak. Oh yeah, tonight. That's some good stuff. Was, was Do we get tonight? more more slides from the oh. from the PowerPoint? What's yeah, uh, WWE just tweeted something about uh, the PowerPoint is continuing, yes. and they had slide six in the image that is they it, were sharing. Is it sponsored by Microsoft <laughs> Office now? Because oh, I didn't pay any attention because they that. tweeted about it last week. Yeah, <laughs> it that's has amazing. To yeah, the the tweet that I saw from WWE three minutes ago was Drew, Drew Gulak continues with his PowerPoint presentation as he demands no cell phones in the arena. <laughs> so no mention as to Microsoft. Getting that from but, the getting that from the Elias there. Um, no, yeah, you never know what kind of weird uh, advertising verticals WWE is going to come up with next. Yeah, that's your <laughs> so, KFC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, get your, hey, get your PowerPoint. You know, Enzo's talking about Microsoft. Back to American Alphas. I think the best thing that could happen to Chad Gable right now is that Shelton Benjamin turns heel on him and he has a feud with him. Also, they weren't on. They weren't on. You're right. Yeah, they weren't on this. I have, I keep missing them. I have yet to see them in a match. They had a match against Ameri- um, American Omega. Um, who was it? Uh, Hypros. 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 Hypros last week, right? Yeah. And then like mm. something, and Zach walked off or something. Yeah. Oh, mm. we have to we have to make room for Dolph Ziggler entrances. No. That's mm. next week. SmackDown's just going to be all Dolph Ooh. entrances. <laughs> oh, that's geez. the pre-show. All one. two geez. hours. I was just saying, like, yeah, but there better be a good payoff for this. But I'm not helpful. So what's the SmackDown tag division look like? New Day, Usos, and Hype Bros. And uh, Gable and Benjamin. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. That's, and yeah. did we say the the fashion, asc- fashion Police? I is guess. That, yeah. Kind of. Is the oh, Ascension yeah, still on SmackDown or are they on Raw? Oh, they're, you're right. They're, they're, they're on SmackDown. They're yeah, there. the Ascension. But we're, or Surf Dudes with Attitudes. And Harper and Rowan. If they, oh, if they were Surf Dudes, they'd be over. Where have they been? No top, Who? top Guns. Danger yeah. Zones. Harper and Rowan. They're getting repackaged. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Here's as hoping. themselves. As, <laughs> as yes. Um, well, who's this Brody Lee guy? Uh, oh, hey, this cruiserweight match, guys. Um, <laughs> and so, if he's he can still walk after last night uh, and Neville, which we'll probably see on the pre-show. Nothing officially Neville. announced for the pre-show. Neville better win that match. So I think you can just expect that that's going to be on the pre-show. Um, and I think that's about it. I guess we're not used to there being an actual like six or seven matches on yeah. a pay-per-view after a SummerSlam. Something's happened in the chat room. Uh, Dolph breaking kayfabe will, will be called Nick Namath. Nick Namath, that's his name. Yes. Do you think Dolph interest thing is an elaborate WWE 2K18 has since the tagline is be no one? Oh. That's, that's his name. Isn't it be like no one? So yeah. he's going to come out as creator wrestler. Vacant. Vacant. Yes, finally Vacant's going to get his the spot. time he deserves. Exactly. <laughs> but anyways, um, I mentioned a little bit about the supposed Rhodes con- controversy. So apparently the Saturday after Thanksgiving has been announced as Starcade. Correct. That's yeah. the one I did not think they would use. Yeah, and and I guess I thought it, we were getting Halloween Havoc. Oh jeez. Well, somebody was saying like, wait, they, who's they, doing Starcade? WWE. WWE. Oh. And nice. apparently, it's one of those where there was a house show, and they there's a card released for it with two cage matches already, and with, uh, with misspelling right. galore. What's that? With misspellings galore. Is it? Yeah. Like, what was it on like the Ticketmaster site or something, or the arena site? It was the arena site. Right. They so, put out the so they they haven't like, and there's been no like yeah, official. Ricky Seamboat's gonna be. There. Oh, Ricky Seamboat. 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 The <laughs> seamstress. Ricky Seamboat. What a seamless transition. He's gonna be there. Is that like Gilbert? 
Hey, Gilbert that can was still one go. Of the, that was Gil- one of Gilbert looked good a, a couple months ago when well, he was no, around. Yeah, that guy has not aged in no, 25 no, years. No, he, and yeah. he's doing like more of a match now than he did in like as Gilbert in the WWE. So, uh, um, anyways, what was my point? Oh, so so it came up, and there was a tweet exchange actually with um, um, Cody Rhodes. Um, kind of, kind of, kind of miffed, I guess. That they never used it while Dusty was still around, kind of to honor him. Um, and now they're using it uh, now without, you know, with him not around and stuff. Um, and I guess uh, uh, Michael Hayes came on and says, hey, how about uh, you guys re- reunite for Starcade between Dustin and Cody? Mm-hmm. So that's floating well, actually, out there as a one night only. Didn't Cody, didn't Cody say first, if you're going to use my dad's pay-per-view name, at least book gold dust on it? Yeah, he yeah. did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. And I think I think Hayes came back. And he might have been tagged in this one. And said, oh, why don't you come back and team up, team up with your brother for one night only? Mm-hmm. Which would be really nice. And considering they have a pretty decent relationship with Ring of Honor, I think they could do it in some aspect. And Goldust even tweeted out about the Hardy Boys versus Goldust and Cody Rhodes. I think that makes sense. I mean, they're going to be in Carolinas, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and it's also the same weekend and not too far away from WrestleCade. Um, that's being had a lot of announcements this week. Um, so, which I think, I, I, yeah, uh, it's in the same area in, uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, that same weekend, says mm-hmm. Tina. So there's a little bit of, uh, you know, are they kind of flomping Indies again? Like they were kind of doing with the UK tournament, um, over, and over, over there a little bit ago, not the UK tournament, but the tapings they were having, the shows they were having, um, recently, um, in, in the spring, I think. So I don't know. What do you guys think about Star Cake coming back as maybe a WWE special event, I guess. I, I, I don't know. You have no attachment to Starcade. No. No. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> okay. I mean, if they're, if they're treating it like the ECW One Night Stand or whatever it was. Is that what it was? One Night Stand? I, well, I, don't, no, I don't think they're treating it like, like a WCW throwback. It's not, I, I think it's, it's just, to the, to it's the like point a where... Saturday night's main event. They're just using the name. Yeah, I mean, they've had Clash oh, of the Champions. Yeah, I, they've, they've had Great American Bash... So it's just we're just using the name and using it on one of our events. They're just doing that because the, the name Roadblock isn't selling tickets anymore. <laughs> hmm. Hey, I think it did very well in Pittsburgh here. Um, and, and greed coming soon. It, greed, <laughs> yes, greed. Um, but but I think I and I think it depends on what area. I don't think any of us are were big WCW Starcade is WrestleMania people. Um, which maybe if you were into it in the eighties, I think. But, uh, you know, and I think that's what people are looking at is like, hey, they're kind of demeaning this thing that was Dusty's, this thing that was their WrestleMania as as WCW by making a Saturday house show, basically. I just don't think the fans are going to get it. No. I mean, if they should, if they were going to do that, they should have done that years ago. It's just a name at this point. And maybe maybe that er- mm-hmm. that area, it makes more sense. There's probably more history that people are going to remember there. Right. I mean. In North Carolina? Yeah. Well, I guess they're in, that's based their out territory. Of, they're based out of the South. That's right. Yeah. Should set up old arcade machines around the ring. If they're going to do that, they got they have to do it at least like at the same scale as SummerSlam. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or something more than just a Saturday night. They just want the name. Pay-per-view. That's all they want. They don't. They don't care about the history. No. No. They, no. I don't think so. They don't care at all. I mean, they just like the name. That's mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. And the fact that they can put it on the network and put it as a WWE Starcade one time only thing, that's all they care about. See how it works. See if they're we, not they're not they don't care see, about see if we can return to Thanksgiving weekend traditions like the original Survivor series. Right. You know, I mean this feels right. like it might it's gonna be a glorified like you I know, mean, the original roadblock as this weird Saturday Night's main event. We're gonna do some stuff that kind of but doesn't really yeah. matter. In all honesty, I would prefer a Halloween Havoc over Starcade. <laughs> Everybody because wants at least you could put some because really at least you could put some gimmicks into that. You know, mm-hmm. like there's something there's some creativity you could put into that. It's a nice theme there. I only really want to see it bring back Halloween Havoc or at least Fall Brawl. No, I want to see Halloween Havoc, but with like the old set. <laughs> That's what I want to see, like the old and school, the electric like chair slim Jims on the uh, p- ring post. Yes, and and you don't have yes. to worry about the pay per view cutting off it before the match is over. Mm, too sh- mm. Bring bring Abdullah B- the butcher back to electrify him. I still, you know, I, I'm still a fan of Hog Wild and uh, and Taboo Tuesday. Just not on Tuesday. Taboo Tuesday, Tuesday. <laughs> that was a good one. I mean, come on, um, New, I, Year's, I think New Year's Revolution or. Re- was it? Yeah, New, New Year's, Year's Revolution, Revolution was one of them. It's where Edge won the belt for the first yeah. time, mm-hmm. right? 
Um, no, and and and, 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 and the one where Randy Orton lost his mind and ran out of the ring. Yeah, remember that? Every pay per view? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this is the one that this is the one that broke him. That's the one that broke. Well, well, Triple H got injured, and he ran in to try to hit somebody with the chair, but the ref was staring right at me at, at him, and so he kind of like freaked out and ran off. And it was really strange. If you watch that match, it was like I think it was rated RKO versus DX at the time, mm-hmm. and it was like unfortunate, but also the funniest Randy Orton moment ever. Um, yes. Can we bring back spin the wheel, make the deal if they bring back Halloween Havoc from Tina? I just, I just want Raw Roulette back. <laughs> Raw Roulette. They, yeah, like they, real Raw Roulette. Yeah. Wait, as opposed to fake Raw Roulette. <laughs> fake Raw Roulette. <laughs> no, remember the the showmanship they had of Raw Roulette when they first did it? It was like a big deal, and it had a bunch of different types of matches and mm-hmm. different people. Now they do it. It's like you have two, three matches on a wheel, and you spin it, and they're like, "Yeah, okay." Well, wasn't the first one? Didn't they actually like that? Was actually random, right? Mm. Or did I, they like did they do the wheel like possible. in front of everybody or something? Like if it's backstage, it's just like no, it's not for real. But if they it do it like not... on the stage, maybe. I don't know. I, it wasn't I, like whoever was spinning the wheel just touched it like lightly, and it just started spinning, <laughs> and then it stopped. It was like but really, really well you, you poorly thought, done. Even if it wasn't random, you thought there was a very good chance it was random because mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. all the match types and all the different, yeah. you know, they would backstage or spinning it. And, spinning and I think it. they did a really good job with it too because that was what mm-hmm. the Victoria and Lita Cage match, mm-hmm. um, that weird showgirl match between Regal and Goldust, right? Yeah. That's Am right. I remembering yeah. that right? That was all yep. the same one, right? The it Vegas was just like show, Vegas so. showgirl match. Like, remember, yeah. This is the same coming. Remember for a period of, outside of my favorite taboo tuesday they were doing things on raw where they had polls with matches Mm -hmm. to determine like the match for the main event you know which ended up being like pretty much three different descriptions for a no disqualification (laughs) yeah yeah. you know it's just like you want a street fight or a no no dq match or a false count count anywhere anywhere. it's like (laughs) wait so you're basically doing the same match (laughs) but calling it a like there might be a kendo stick involved could be but Eh. Always vote for Falls Count anywhere. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so you never know where they could get to go. You, you get that backstage spot, right? So there you go. Halloween Havoc, sponsored by Snickers. Still do that. So they they yeah. still get Snickers. Oh, they were doing commercials for Snickers not too long ago, weren't mm-hmm. they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Like NXT, the NXT, NXT should they, they, do they, Halloween even, Havoc. There you go. Even they the just candy start. had soft on them. <laughs> you just can't. You just get yeah. You just NXT just takes over these old these old this old WCW, you know ECW WCW. Wait, did you just say yeah, Bobby? I echo you. NXT taking over. Anyone taking over. crickets? Okay, I like great. that idea. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, say is my mic on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see what happens for there. I want to see if Roadblock comes back. Uh, why? Oh, we had two of them last year. Did that? Did that run it out? This is the perfect is place for much? them, you know. Or even like I, I love when they do their live events just from Madison Square Garden. Like I wish they'd keep doing that. Um, roadblock is the new, new in your house. Yeah, it is. The new roadblock is uh, tunnels closed. Tunnels closed. Yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh tunnels closed. <laughs> the tunnels on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Another Bridges detour. On fire. Yeah. <laughs> Another detour. Yeah. That's the sequel. Uh, roadblock to. Uh, um, an I, orange I, cone hardcore match. Speaking of Pittsburgh, I, I have to I have to bring up this really really weird um, event that came up. Uh, and, and so Stone Cold and State Park is the title of it. And I, Ooh, I, I saw that you saw that. Um, unfortunately, I think it is the same day as 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 IWC, or I'd completely go down and do this. Um, and the event says crack beers like Stone Cold and Point State Park. <laughs> we talked about it on Awesome Cast not too long ago, uh, and I think it was Boston. Maybe it was uh, everybody screams like uh, Goku uh, Super Saiyan in front of like the monu- the uh, a monument, and there's like ten people standing around just screaming like a like a Super Saiyan from Dragon Ball Z. Um, <laughs> Bobby, Why though? You, what's that, Bobby? <laughs> Why though? Why? Because. Cause they they're not they're not gonna turn into super saiyans. No it's, no no, but it's this idea of just, science. I don't think no, that's not the goal. The role playing, Bobby. Yes. What's the goal to lose your voice? Yes, Cause, absolutely. Because downtown Pittsburgh doesn't have enough crazies. It's not it's not oh, enough yeah, people just yeah. yelling randomly, right? 
Um, I'm glad I'm not in downtown Johnstown anymore. We have too many crazies. And that's just Johnstown. I mean, I just yeah. watched one lady talking to herself and yelling, like, explaining it. Like, I could hear her coming two blocks away and then going. <laughs> and we just sit there and just like, there she goes. Right, so I'm getting, Anyways, I'm getting the you point, back on task here. The point of this, apparently, and this is all caps, but I'm not going to yell. Uh, what? We are going to crack some beers. What? In <laughs> Point State Park. If... If you want to come down to the point on a Saturday in October and crack some cold ones with the boys, give me a hell yeah. Um, I don't know if this is just like we're just going to all at once just pour beer over our mouths and and drink it, quote unquote. Here's or uh, but I hope that's what it is. Lo- and I hope somebody's got a boom box with the Stone Cold music on Logistically, it. here is my question. Where are you at? There you are. I'm there, hiding there you go. over here we by We got Aaron. your ear. That's okay. We got <laughs> your ear in the shot Aaron, and your shoulder. move your mouth. <laughs> 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 okay so here's here's my question and this is again coming from my my previous profession what are the what are the ramifications associated with that how are they checking age and what about the open <laughs> container well yeah that's what that's point uh, state uh, park. Point yeah. out uh, the pa state parks are dry <laughs> Well, if you do it fast enough, yeah, yeah, Stone Cold know. don't care about no laws. <laughs> Take get on your okay, ATV, true. Pull right up into the park, crack in some cold ones, and drive style. right out. In true right, style, we're gonna be using some arrive, beers. raise hell, leave. There will be a DUI checkpoint. And if a cop comes up to you, give him a stunner. <laughs> yeah, just that's don't, not. Do that. That's probably not the best idea. <laughs> Stomp a mud hole. But just like Stone Cold, arrive, raise hell, and leave. Oh, could be geez. turned into Add a Kurt, on Kurt Angle t-shirt. milk. Crack yeah. a milk open. What's all uh, this milk doing all like over Kurt the Angle. point? That's maybe someone should create a rivalry uh, event at points like an hour <laughs> after Stone Cold thing is Kurt Angle's milk drinking. And then everybody would smell terrible afterwards. <laughs> yeah, milk, like milk that's a beer. long <laughs> walk back from the point. So <laughs> I mean, by the time he gets it's there, a counter I event. mean. I mean, the cops would be so confused. Like, I know how bad it <laughs> smells after an ICP concert, and cool. it's hot. Milk was I'm a not bad saying choice. the same people have to go to both. <laughs> I'm just saying there's an alternative in case you are not into beer drinking. Mike is oh. killing kayfabe, saying Stone Cold didn't actually drink any of that beer; he just poured it on himself. Oh, come on, Mike! Come on! It's still it's still the weed container that you and you're gonna be walking through a park smelling like beer. So, but you're not driving. But you're not driving. You know, taking you get, you get take, a sippy cup cap for your you, beer. You unless go. maybe you get some O'Doul's. Some O'Doul's? Mm-hmm. No. You're not gonna be drinking anyway. Well, so. if you're gonna do that, you might as well just get icy light. No, that's still that's still no, it's alcoholic. Not. No, it's not. O'Doul's is not alcoholic. Neither is icy light. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, but the cops. You're drinking non-alcoholic beer. I don't think I want to talk about unfortunate Impact Wrestling news. Um, Impact is bad. Oh, what's new? What's new? Do what's new? Do you, do you want the latest? Do you want the, do you want the latest? Do you, yeah. <laughs> what's the update? Um, the latest what's is... the latest shovel of well, dirt on that grave? Well, the news this week, and I don't know why I've been attracted to reading this stuff. It's like the TMZ of pro wrestling. Um, Cornette is apparently out. Oh, I saw that. Due to Canada. Mm-hmm. Apparently, Cornette's not allowed. Jim Cornette's not allowed in Canada because he pissed them off. Mm-hmm. I mean, Canada. Um, Bound, <laughs> Bound right. for Glory, and in, in the next series of, of uh, tapings, which is uh, probably going to be like six weeks of, ta- of, of television, um, are going to be in Canada. It was announced. Cornette can't go, and I think that I don't know. They said officially, uh, due to circumstances, uh, Cornette is not no longer a part of Impact Wrestling. Um, as I think Brandon or Alex said on the on the uh, group, apparently after this group of tapings, nobody runs Impact Wrestling because I guess they're they're probably the, the the figureheads there. Also, the GFW name, the Global Force Wrestling name, has been dropped from all branding, including Bound for Glory and social media and other places. Because when they sent Jeff Jarrett home, um, they had not completed the deal for the rights to Global Force Wrestling as a name. <laughs> oh. So they should, they should just rename that pay per view to Bound for something. Bound for <laughs> they should change it to sure Halloween yet. Havoc. <laughs> Halloween, they'll take Halloween Havoc. Just do it. all of your there shows, you even the ones in March. <laughs> yeah. t- basically, yeah. is Halloween Havoc at. Bound for six like feet that. under. Bound, bound for confusion. Bound um, for, bound for bankruptcy. Uh, who's writing those checks? Uh, like with the anthem. Some owl somewhere. Fucking owls. 
I know, right? Jeez. Um, but eh, so what? What Impact is the Pittsburgh Pirates of pro wrestling? Oh, oh yeah, I agree. oh no, yeah, that's pretty close. Uh, I don't know, uh, Andrew, bound, that, bound, no, bound, that, bound for roadblock. The Pittsburgh <laughs> Pirates get, are too good for Anthem. Oh I no, anybody, I didn't even get anybody a slam reversary present. <laughs> we'll just leave you a moment Silence. for that one. We'll leave you a moment. Uh, no, that was just a moment for the laugh track to put in later. Um, no, the, no, don't pity me. <laughs> I'm rusty. I haven't been on in like a month. <laughs> But you had all weekend. You hanging out at a wrestling show. Come on. Yeah, that's true. Um, but anyways, uh, it will, <laughs> we'll be back uh, with a big question. And we're going to be talking, of course, uh, there was a, uh, a, a big passing in this uh, past year, or past, this past weekend of uh, uh, Bobby Heenan. So um, I try not Bobby F.J. Town. He's still here. Hi. I'm still uh, here. Yep. Uh, so down. we'll be back. That joke almost did me in, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we'll be right back after this. It's a big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. That's like Pennywise. That's like Pennywise in the sewers. Saying, hey, you got four loco down here. Okay. Be down in the second. Did you buddy. say had four loco in the sewer? Yeah. Crack one open for you, oh, man. Right. I'm coming down. Have one, Georgie. Are they, I mean, wait, It'll so make you float. The are they the... Slide. Are they the old ones or are they the new ones? And if he said, "Ah, oh, no, man, they're the old ones," yeah, I'd be down there in a second. Those things are like six beers, all in one. Six. Wrestling Mayhem show. We got the whole crew here. Bobby of J Town hanging his uh, uh, J Town bu- bunker out there. My bunker? I don't yeah, have you, a bunker you, now. J Town bunker. Fort J Town. Fort J Town. <laughs> Fort... I need a bunker to live in J Town. Fort J Town Armory. <laughs> Also, of course, Larry's hanging out. The uh, there's a uh, producer Missy's arm hanging out. There it is. There's a hand. Uh, Chad the Chad and Calvin Couture joining us. What's up, what's up? The fancy, the shiny, the sparkly. Howdy. The tie wearing, hanging out. Class. It's time for the big question, guys. Um, I guess we unfortunately had a um, you know, some more uh, bad news in in the Russ world as uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan passed. And I want to talk a little bit more uh, of that at length. But a big question to go along with it uh, was one that Mad Mike had actually shared with us, um, or shared with me, actually, on the Slacks, uh, and since he was not here tonight. <laughs> on pants? No, what's Slacks? Slack? Oh. Slacks. <laughs> on the Slacks. <laughs> no, the Slack. The, the Slack okay, software okay. The, the, where we have the chat. Bobby, where you should be reading the show notes. I mm. do. <laughs> um, I, got, I have slacks on. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Um, who <laughs> who would make a good member of the Heenan family in 2017? Mm. Who would you like to see today with Bobby Heenan? Now we do have a problem. Somebody doesn't really know Bobby Heenan. What? Who that? Looking. He's looking. He's looking. No, I've just never watched his stuff. Okay, well, I mean, you're aware of him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've seen his highlight reels. I just, I wasn't, I wasn't watching wrestling. No, no, I just, it just wasn't your time. Yeah, you. Yeah, it's a generational thing. Wrestling, wrestling, youngin over there. Um. (laughs) So. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So, who wants to go first? Who who would you uh, pick for a 2017 rendition of the Heenan Heenan family? Although I realize that this is. It's a typoed. stat question. Well, there's also this is also his typo, and it says the Herman family. The Herman family. Pee-wee Herman. So I don't know. I think it's yeah, the Pee Wee Herman. Pee-wee Paul Herman. Rubens. If Pee Wee Herman was a manager, <laughs> who would you team him up with? Obviously, uh, Luke Harper. Luke Harper. Mm. <laughs> really? Pee Wee Herman and Luke Harper. I think it would be okay. a great team. Mm. Um, but no, the Heenan family. <laughs> Chad, do you have one? Yeah. Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode. Mm-hmm. That's actually a good one. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. It, it seems to be that's the that type cool. of that would be the type of guy that he would gravitate towards and and they just seem like they would really get along really well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be, I mean I mean but it's so be advantageous for both of them. He's you he, know? he's so much parts Rick Rude and Rick Flair. Right. That he's worked with. So yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Like he kind of fits the mold. And is like a new age of what Heenan would promote and 
Mm. And like, yeah. So yeah, that's question. that's my my answer, Bobby Root. Bobby of J Town. You have a question? Question. Yes. Can we pick a tag team? Yeah, you, sure. Then I would go with the Hype Bros. No, I'm just kidding. No, the <laughs> Revival. The, re- I the Revival. I actually the like revival. that answer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they would fit mm-hmm. so well. Like you, they, they're they're 2017 brainbusters, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. So, Pretty much. That's a good, really good answer too. What about you, Calvin? Um, I was actually thinking Luke Harper. Because I think that, you know, he has that kind of quiet demeanor where he could really utilize somebody um, as his mouthpiece to just, you know, continue to get him where he would need to be and really sell his power, Mm -hmm. which I mean is pretty prevalent. And I think he really managed a lot of guys that you didn't really have to speak for the power, but just speaking about it made it that much more entertaining. Mm. I think personally. I mean, you think yeah, that's really good. Really, the only one doing what he used to, a version of what he used to do, is Paul Heyman, right? Because he has to sit there and tell you why this guy's so badass right. and why this guy's trouble for you, right? You know, Hogan, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, and and you know, doesn't need to speak, even though some of them can, like your flares and your um, um, roots and and things right. like that. Yeah, so. and and Luke Harper has the skills, right? Mm-hmm. To definitely, right? Definitely back it all up. Yeah. Um, from the chat room, we have uh several several responses. Uh, Tina Tina saying Big Cass would be a good member. King of Hercules Hernandez, in a sense. Yeah, it could be. Mm-hmm. Um, Brandon saying agreeing Bobby Roode or Charlotte. Could mm-hmm. be. Oh, that'd be a nice second I generation. Can see yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Heenan, Mike, Mad Mike wants to see Heenan manage Nia Jax. That'd be a good one. Actually, that's not a that's not really a bad pairing. Nia Jax does come off too nice. I feel not not super super nice, but like like I don't She's know. If she like most girls. she doesn't <laughs> she doesn't come off as dominating mm-hmm. in interviews as she does in the ring. She's more dom yeah quiet. Yeah. Whenever yeah. she's quiet, she's scary. Yeah, he's exactly. a threat. I'm gonna say Elias. Really? Ooh, yeah. I think so. Yeah, just because he, d- aside from his songs, he really doesn't talk much. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like he doesn't have a, um, like a commentating presence. You know, as um, as an alternative, and, and he's also a beast. kind of like to see Jimmy, Jimmy Hart, with him, as like a hockey yeah. tonk throwback. Yeah, baby. <laughs> This guy's gonna be the greatest. I feel like he'd yeah, break I got, him. I got another one. If nobody else, man, has he could. One. Man, if he could be his manager and helping him with the songwriting, that'd be amazing. <laughs> like, not that that Elias is bad, but still, like Jimmy Hart's amazing with that. You know how many tunes? Speaking of songwriting, did anybody catch? Um, um I forgot his name. Help me. Aiden. Aiden. English? Aiden English's song tonight. Mm, yeah, mildly. I caught a little okay. bit of it. Yeah, it was Randy about, Orton. Uh, Ray, Randy yeah. Orton. Yeah, <laughs> was that was actually really him. impressive. Oh, it was really funny. Sorry, segue over, Bobby. Um, I was gonna say Rusev too. Rusev would be really interesting. Yeah, it would and and I think that's where where Lana was a really big part of that mm-hmm. that success there too. Mm-hmm. Video started playing. <laughs> It just freaked me out because it was Luke Harper and Randy Orton. <laughs> I don't know well, what's going on here. Actually, on the other side of that, I think Randy Orton might be interesting. Speaking of Randy Orton, because mm-hmm. he's yeah. a little, that little more of a like the veteran feel, but I feel like he's been doing the same thing for a while. That that could really kind of almost that's the word I'm looking for. Um, shake it up a little bit. Yeah, shake yeah. him up and give him a little more dynamic. Because I mean, he's awesome. Mm, it would yeah. just give him something different than just the Viper. Or... Mm. Warden's never been in that position, has he? Where he's had someone speak for him. But so, I don't know what speak for him. In, in a managerial his, his type dad. of... When they were doing the uh, yeah. when they were doing oh, evolution, he wasn't really yeah. much of a talker. Flair yeah. was, yeah. 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 yeah, but that's a group that also wrestled. You know, he. he I don't think Warden's ever had anybody <laughs> represent him. In any manner, from a non wrestling without a tag team or yeah, to say rated RKO, but that was just kind of by association. Mm. So that would be really interesting to see how Orton would react if he had someone 
backing him. Right. Kind of right. sealing the like a hand, you know, like hand, like yeah, you know, someone sealing the deal and, and moving and shaking stuff for him. Um, so some more. Just be crazy by himself. Sorry. Some more from the chat room. Uh, Andrew says Ziggler. Ziggler needs something because this isn't working right Dude. now. <laughs> I just I oh. feel like he has so much charisma. Mm-hmm. That I, I don't I don't I don't I don't know how I'd feel about it, that. It's like misdirected charisma, though. Yeah, you know, and, and obviously something's not working there. He needs an opponent. Yeah, mm-hmm. what's the end game? That's that's this? what he needs. Yeah, he needs he needs an opponent to have a feud with. I'm waiting to see what the payoff for all this is. Yeah, because yeah. they can't just be doing it without not without having like really. A, yeah, they they have at it may be stupid, but they have a point to which There's, they want him to get to after this. It, like, it sticks like in it sticks in my this. head a lot. Um, when I, I've been listening to Bruce Pritchard and it says, "Hey, we wouldn't spend all this time TV time, expensive TV time, on a rip or something they don't think is going to yeah, go." It's well, got to be going somewhere. You know, we don't waste our time on television. If something goes on, I would think when I said when it was on tonight, I was like, somebody thinks this is a good idea. Can I make yeah. a yeah. quick, you know, comment? Emelina. Yeah. Just a- Emelina. Yeah. That just, did last for 30 seconds. But yeah. they, if that. The, the vignettes were like, what? I thought they were like a few months, weren't they? Like six. Yeah. I have, like, I have, like another, I have was, another theory. Six years, three days. <laughs> Vince seven McMahon hours. really got a concussion last week. And isn't following the concussion protocol, and that was never supposed to happen tonight. <laughs> Somebody's like, "Oh, he's knocked out of his mind right now. Let's get throw this idea to him again." Come on, it's not the first time he's been knocked out of his mind in his career. <laughs> it's true, but he's getting older, and the damage lasts. I don't know. My 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 guess is Road Dog spending too much time at Steelers games. Thanks, Justin Labar, and uh, <laughs> driving the ball on uh, creative a little bit. You know, not not shooting down those bad ideas. Uh, still more in the chat room, by the way. Tom says uh, Bobby could hype up the best of a gimmick wrestler. I'd go with Killian Dane. Uh, Champa mm-hmm. is being brought mm-hmm. up. Braun Insanity from uh, Wheels. Uh, da, 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 da. We, uh, Tino, Tino yeah. I want to hold on to Tina for, for for a moment here until we finish this. Um, no, never mind. I guess everybody went a different way. Um, Nia and Tamina grouping with Heenan from Dave. I like Tamina. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, Tina, Tina saying uh, the piggy off of it. Uh, would you like to see who would you see as a modern day Bobby Heenan or his style of managing? I, I, you know, I'm still have stuck in my head that image of a Corey Graves managing. Um, mm-hmm. um, what's Anybody. his face? Um, <laughs> we just talked about big, big cast. cast as a yeah. thing, and seeing like 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 Corey Graves come out as this like master manipulator because I think he could play it. You know, because I remember, oh, well. I, I don't know, you ever see him back in the day when he was coming out with like in the Hustler shirt and, and Chad, I know you were watching with me at the time. And I was like, this guy just feels slimy. To, to be and, completely honest, though, I, I think the art of a manager is kind of lost. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just feel like that it kind of lost its way and there's not. I feel like they, they've just gotten used to not having the art of a manager. So like it, I, I think it's kind of like just one of those situations where it's kind of too little, too late. Do you feel like it's like, are you saying as far as the WWE goes or wrestling in, in general? Um, mainly in WWE, but, but really wrestling in general. I think your last, your last good unique manager was Armando Estrada. Mm-hmm. Not counting. Ah, Paul he Heyman. was complimentary. Cause Heyman's in a world by himself mm-hmm. but like yeah, yeah he was Estrada advocate. was your last big unique didn't manage anybody else came from you weren't feeling Zeb Coulter huh no oh yeah Zeb Coulter was good Estrada was better than Zeb Coulter Zeb, Zeb had a scooter Zeb did <laughs> Zeb did Zeb did add entertainment but when it came to originality Estrada had it in spades who was Davari's right. manager Davari's? Not this Davari, the older Davari. No, 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 no. The Davari was, was the Davari was, was the manager. Yeah. For oh, he was, he was the manager. manager. That's yeah. right. But again, he was doing that very similar thing as um Ricardo Rodriguez. Yeah, kind Robert of Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez. <laughs> Ricardo yeah. Rodriguez, where he goes like kind of more lackey, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. but also similar to the writer that was managing uh Kali for a while. Mm-hmm. Um Abraham Washington. 
So I'll give a shout out, by the way, to yeah. Facade, who's hanging out at the Great Khali's school out in India right now, wow. training training some new kids yeah. out there. Mm-hmm. So um, we're going to try to get him on the show and get some stories about India. And he's going to Japan right after that. He's coming back for like a weekend in October wow. and going back out to Japan. Yeah. So good for him for getting out there. Um, but would you have cared about Umaga if Estrada wasn't there? No. Exactly. No, no. Exactly. You'd be like, what is this great? Exactly. Co-? He, he would have just been a great Kali ripoff. I mean, I, I know that's not, you know, um, that's not, I want to say ethnically, but that's not like, you know, yeah, he's but he not made, being he great. made co- Umaga better. But he's that savage character, right? Mm-hmm. You know. Well, wasn't Umaga supposed to be their answer to Samoa Joe originally? That was. Or did I, did I make that up? That might have been an internet thing. I mean, that, maybe people are like, oh, look, they got a Samoan guy right. being all he wears savage the black and stuff. And but Hicks I thought they and... were like different enough, though, that it was. Yeah, because Samoa Joe was never like a savage. Right. He was just yeah. a dude from California that happened to be Samoan. Yeah. Right. Like, he didn't never talk, he face never, paint. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I guess TNA kind of went that way with Joe, like back around the ninja kidnapping van. But, um. <laughs> Mr. Dark Days, we'll need to talk about that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that they were dark now. I mean, that was pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> At least nobody's watching it now. Yeah, yeah. Um, Brandon's saying the Miz could be a manager. Yeah, but he's too good as a wrestler right now. He is. He is. But if, he's, if uh, he's one of those guys that if if anything ever happened and he couldn't go anymore, like you know Edge and Christian, like he could come back and be mm-hmm. a manager. You know, yeah. it's putting over his guys. You know, he's I'd say Enzo would have been a better manager than he is a wrestler. Yeah, yeah, he could be good at that. I mean, he's definitely could be good at that if they decide his matches aren't aren't much. People get tired of him. Samoa Joe did carry a knife to the ring and have his face painted a while for TNA. <laughs> Thanks, man, Mike. He gets burned into his head. Um, JT Davidson, who manages Ohio's for Killers in the Indies, uh, Jake and, uh, Dave and Jake Christ and Sammy Callahan has a similar style. He says. To Heenan? I'm trying to remember because I've only seen him once or twice. So, um, oh, you mentioned he also managed Lethal and Ring of Honor. These are mixing up because it looks like it says Samoa Joe managed Jay Lethal, and that's not right at all. <laughs> um, and of course, John's out there saying uh, BC Steel is the indie Bobby Heenan. BC Steel is good. Oh, I'm he's not awesome. Not. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he's 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 good. He was. Like when he was all over, partially because there's a, a, a rumble at that last show, of course. Um, but uh, you know, he, he kept he kept you into it. So he entertained me and Missy for the first half of the show. Yes, <laughs> like before the show started. Well, they get well, yeah. He that was a fun of, conversation. He's like part of our table for a while. Um, <laughs> Truth Martini. Oh, Truth Martini was. I don't know. I like Truth Martini and the House of Truth stuff, but Where'd I don't think go? I don't think it's that level. What? Where'd he go? He's not around anymore. I don't know. But... There's a lot of people not around right now. Yeah, yeah. I'd be, yeah. I'd be interested to see what happened with him because uh, I knew he was doing, still doing a school up there uh, around Detroit. So great mind for the business, from what I hear. Yeah. Oh yeah, very great mind. Oh yeah, I got right. the uh, when we were doing the Zach Allen documentary. Well, we visited him and and just you know hear him talk about that kind of stuff was. Just amazing, and and got to see the school too. So, all right. Uh, so so from that, and let us know if you guys are uh, checking us out later on social media at Mayhem Show or, or comments on this. If you're checking out the video on YouTube or Facebook, uh, wherever you like to com- communicate with us or drop it in the Facebook group for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Um. So yeah, you know, I I, I think we kind of mostly. I don't know if there's anything else we want to say about Bobby Heenan. Uh, um. Um. You know. Uh, you know, I, I know for me, he's somebody that I, I grew up on, you know, always being the, the, the foil for for Hogan or the, the Rick Rude uh, Ultimate Warrior days. Um, Mr. Perfect was a really big thing uh, at the time. So um, him and Gorilla Monsoon on primetime wrestling. Oh, geez. And I didn't it's get amazing. a chance to watch a lot of primetime wrestling, unfortunately. Like That wasn't in my uh, uh, view. I think they syndicated it at some point, didn't they? Like, But it was a USA show, right? Yeah, it was on USA. I think. Yeah, because I think we got it locally, like on our on our Fox ABC something channel, um, on on Friday nights. I discovered it for a while, but uh, but no, I, and, and I always love going back to those, um, you know. And of course, you can see a lot of them. And I went back and watched a few primetime wrestlings. Um, I know for me, 
when I heard about it on Sunday, I, I knew first thing I was going to do, go home and watch the 2010 DVD that they put out, um, which was a nice chronicle of his history and, and uh, you know, you know, the nice, nice documentary as they do. And, uh, and, and I went and watched the uh, Hall of Fame speech mm-hmm. from 2004, which I don't think I ever watched before. Because this is before, like they started doing it in arenas, and and it was like in looked like it was in just a hotel ballroom, basically set up. But they were still producing. I don't know if they were putting it on USA at the time, maybe. Hmm. But they definitely weren't like advertising them. I feel like it was a weird. They were just taping them. They were just taping them, but they had the video them. packages, and and yeah. it just seemed like a weird, weird thing. It's like I never the knew maybe, when the Slammys were. The maybe does some of the weird stuff where they tape it, and just to tape it Mm -hmm. then they put a package together and you don't see it for like 10 years and you're like when the hell did the speech happen what do you what do you mean you know like oh yeah we were backstage we cut all that together and filmed all this backstage stuff like even today Mm -hmm. like 10 years from now you'll get a backstage something and you're like what the hell were you even filming that well did you watch the the uh current angle 24 7 where it's like Mm -hmm. there's there's a shots of him apparently when he him at the Started training, training at the training oh, no, center. at the training center and hanging out on like Mount Washington talking about his career and the transition he was going yeah, into. They said they shot a a thing for him. I'm like, and it's like all the stuff that I think they didn't use. You, maybe? Like, yeah, it's really weird. They just shoot everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. I, I want to see that interview uh, package that they put together for the boogeyman when he was starting. Hmm. <laughs> They probably have it. It's What's there. the stuff on the cutting room floor for the boogeyman? What didn't work for the boogeyman, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's where you're at with that. Like, I, 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 I want to see the creative process that got them to putting worms in your mouth. Mm. Whose idea was that? What was the tell all? That, was, that dark, was his that idea. That was the dark board. Yeah. That was before, his idea, uh, I thought. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was his idea. Um, That was, a, okay. Mike says that the, that year, 2004, was the first time that they released it on DVD. They filmed it at the... At the, it at the theater at MSG the night before Mania twenty, so mm. I, but I thought there's there is still like a two thousand three before, as well, um and it, like it was big enough it had a little bit of an audience and everything, um John says it's on DVD before WWE put the Hall of Fames with WrestleMania so they did they did release it independently back then, um. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I mean, and even looking back, like I love the behind the scenes, like around like WrestleMania nine, Sorry. and you, you saw a lot of that with like the the yeah. his, the real history of WrestleMania, you know. Yeah. So is this the stuff that you've learned in wrestling this week? This is, this is this is some of the stuff. Yeah, this is some of the stuff that I learned, Missy. <laughs> this is some of the stuff. Jeez. Segwaying right into. Is that. that what you're telling me? Is that what we're doing right now? All right, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week, Larry? It looked prepared. It looked so prepared. Oh, I, I don't know if it's that like professional button up shirt you're wearing. Look at that. Look at your buttons and everything. <laughs> I mean, keep up with this guy. you guys are wow. almost on the same level. Good try. You know, yeah, I, there I, you go. Shirt doesn't have paint on Look it. Look at that. Appreciate yeah, it. yeah. Great. You don't have like, I can't see like a, your underwear through a hole in your pants. Yeah. You know. Um, what did I learn? That's what I learned. I'm glad. <laughs> um, I don't know. Aiden English has a future. Ooh. <laughs> Old words. Yes. Mm. Right now, he, words. he's he's a step above the drifter right now. I learned, speaking of the drifter, that he's apparently part luchador. Because <laughs> holy crap. That, that's facial hair. That's not that a mask. That is a big man to jump on top of the ropes, on the top ropes oh, like that. that. Yeah. That's so they and, and, and it surprised everybody. Um, great show. He's in the main event. Great, great showcase for in our Pittsburgh, mm-hmm. you know, alum uh, of this show and then IWC. So that's good to see too. Um, Calvin, what did you learn in wrestling this week? What I learned in wrestling, something that really stuck out to me this week was um, whenever Braun threw Enzo between the like the the top and the middle rope. Right through. Mm-hmm. It's good aim. That was that was very impressive. So I guess his, uh, Enzo's darting ability, or Braun's darting ability, I should say. Braun can throw an office chair without anything spinning on it. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> which, Wait, I, I love you. Every, every week, he's so impressed has, by this. It, yeah, some gravitational <laughs> pull. Like a baseball. Like the wheels don't move. The bottom doesn't move. Yeah. The chair just. He's a, he's he can make things fly. He could probably throw a football without the spiral. He could throw the big shot on. There's that video of him throwing a football. Is there? 
Him yeah, catch, on, does he catch it again? Online. It's like <laughs> one of his Snapchat <laughs> things. Does he Can run just, down and catch it and say, I'm not finished with you? Ron, Ron Strowman <laughs> just recreates all of all of the um, um, Mr. Perfect promos mm. when he was coming in, all the sports <laughs> ones. It'd be fantastic. Ron doing all that would just be hilarious. I'm going to throw this. <laughs> rips I'm not back. done with you. <laughs> just, yeah, he's in the middle of a pool. rips the backboard like, off the I'm wall. not finished with pool. Oh, jeez. Oh, Bobby, what'd you learn? I learned that I shocked a wrestler this this weekend by asking for a picture with him. What, what's that? Um, I shocked a wrestler this weekend by asking for a picture with him. Yeah, tell a story. Um, as you know, uh, we watch wrestling podcasts. Matt McCarthy, former writer for the WWE, he um, when when Dylan Bostic fought Ryback, he gave him his his alias of Brendan Burke. And I said, well, I said, well, Sorg actually was the one. I didn't want to take a picture with him. Uh, this show, you know, I kind of felt bad asking for a picture. Um, but Sorg's like, ah, take a picture with him. Take a picture with him. I'm like, all right, well, I'll ask him, you know. I said, I'm going to take a picture with you and send it to Matt McCarthy and because he gave you your name when you fought Ryback. And he's like, oh, my God. He's like, you just gave me chills right now. Yeah, and he's then, like he's like look at my goosebumps, and you can see his yeah. goosebumps. And um, actually, I post I posted it online, and uh, Matt McCarthy replied to the tweet saying, "You know, where's Dan Barone?" <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny, and then now they're following each other on on Twitter, I think. And you just so. you just look at Bobby being the connector out there. I made a connection or reconnection. Yeah, Bobby's the yeah, match. Cool. Bobby's the matchmaker. Chad, what'd you learn? Um, I, le- I learned like I can't wait for this Brock Strowman match. I have to agree with that. Yeah. Like I just, I just, I just really want to see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You giant ham hocks. Yeah, I just, and I, I think, <laughs> I think I've said it in the past weeks. I think Brock really wants this match too. Mm-hmm. Like I think after dabbling in the you know with the Fatal Four Way and stuff with uh, Strowman, I think he really liked the ability of what Strowman can do and what he can do with Strowman. And when was the last time Brock got to fight someone as athletic and big and strong as him? Taker. Mm-hmm. But did he meet his... Strowman can move faster. Yeah, yeah. I would say and Taker, Taker, Taker can't move like he used to. So Taker's, a, is. Taker's a different level, of course. But uh, someone as comparable to Brock Lesnar in strength and size, I, it's it's got to be a fun match for both guys. And yeah. I just can't wait to see it. As it did Brock meet his match. Yeah. yeah. I really like that. Mm-hmm. Especially a few weeks ago, whenever Brock suplexed Braun, just got uh, right up. He that just was rolled perfect. out of it. Uh, that was fantastic. I, uh, Yeah, and I think Brock has a lot of fun. He's like, I can throw you around. Right. Yeah. And get yeah. to, like, it's, we were going to have you some could fun. throw me back, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to be fun. I hope it's like a 25-minute yeah. masterpiece. Producer Missy, uh-huh. what did you, what'd you learn from Was that time? a wrap-up sound? You, <laughs> yeah, I don't know no, what that was. Uh, that was Sorg doesn't have one of his notification devices. I don't know what device that is. I think Where is it? I think it's over at your computer. Oh yeah, it was, it's rendering the last show. Yeah, I have a late Alexa, night. turn off. Don't. <laughs> don't. No, 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 no. Don't. There's actually one in here. <laughs> um, so what did I learn this week? I learned that. Uh, I have made a, a new friend within the wrestling industry and it scares the hell out of Sorg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know who that friend is. Yes, you do. It is BC Steel. Oh, no. <laughs> we, yeah, we had yeah. a lovely, wonderful conversation. I'm setting many, up. Many, many I'm setting up. I'm running around. I'm running cords. I'm setting up the camera. And every time I look over, I'm like, why is BC like sitting behind my DVD table talking to my wife? Like mm-hmm. like an hour later, why is he still there? You know, I I even walked away and I walked back and I'm like, you're still here. Yes, yeah, that is that yeah. is all true. Uh, so no, it was rather entertaining. But Jeez, pretty cool. Like we even became Facebook friends after the fact. And you know how often I become <clears throat> Facebook friends with people. Never, none, none of you are going to be her Facebook friend uh, <laughs> if you're not already. <laughs> Sorry, she, had, she added me last week. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're in, you're in a very very. Exclusive club. Exclusive club. It's of the jacket. Of yeah. course. How can you say that in this space? I mean, <laughs> the bullet point club Sorry. on Facebook. The bullet point club. Yeah. Bullet point. I just something internet. I don't know. 
<laughs> Anyways, uh, from the chat room, Mad Mike learned that Missy is tired and the show is fucking done, so you better be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I also learned that that Matt, uh, Kevin Owens did actually cancel the Fashion Files, and that uh, makes him the biggest heel in wrestling. <laughs> you oh, you son of a bad. bitch. Um, Where's where are the Canellises too? Oh, that's a good. Uh, well, I think I, 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 I think like Mike Canellis actually is having some substance abuse problems right yeah, now. Oh, really? Um, yeah, or, uh, yeah. Alcohol was it? I English, think so. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. English correction over here. Would it be Canellis's or Canelli? Oh, I think Canelli. we already had this conversation. Brandon learned that Ziggler is a super fan of wrestling by knowing all his entrances. Well, <laughs> I mean, we've all done that. Come on, let's be honest. Um, do, 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 do. And they've learned that WWE loves multi women matches again and again and again. Um, just, wait, just, match. just wait until Oscar gets there. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really distracted by the GIF that Missy has on her computer right now. What is it? Would you like to describe it for all of us on audio or not yeah, on that it, camera? It's wrestling, it's wrestling about okay. You're not, no, you're not on the mic. You're not on the mic. It's wrestle without context. And all it is, I can't, I can't even describe this without laughing. So it's Neville holding the mic and his title doing the Enzo shuffle over oh. and over and over again. Oh, that happened last night. Yeah. And Dan Hooven learned that Bobby is hot. Thanks. There you go. Maybe sweat. It's a good place to stop tonight. There you go. That's enough. Yeah, I'm hot. I'm That's sweating. it. Thank you, Calvin Couture. Yeah, you're so welcome. For joining us here, we have a great interview with you here shortly on the Indie Mayhem mm-hmm. Show. Uh, where can people find you online? Ooh, people can find me on Twitter at Calvin underscore Couture. I'm also on Instagram, Calvin Couture, and then my fan page on Facebook. Boom. Uh, let's go check it out. Chad the Shad. Yep. Just Chad the Shad things and Chad the Shad on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And Chad the Shad on any other media. <laughs> That's right. I, I yeah, I cornered the market. Cornering the shad market. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep. Speed. Larry, Larry doesn't do social media. I have people for that. He has people for that. He has Larry people for that. Larry like people for that. They'll be posting gifts of Neville very soon. There you go, producer <laughs> Missy. You can see her podcast Pittsburgh dot com. Oh, and also she's got a guest appearance this week on the Jack Off podcast. Oh, that's right. I do. I do have. It. So go look up the uh, Jack Off podcast and 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 check her out on that. Yes, uh, all of the things that Sorg has said. Oh, <laughs> wonderful, Bobby of J Town. No, it's moving you. his microphone around. No, it's Hulk Hogan. I was repositioning what? Hulk Hogan. Damn Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Repos- what? See? what? Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan. Oh, that's a, that's a scary Hulk Hogan. <laughs> that is a little scary. It is. Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Bobby of J Town. Um, I'm hashtag bound for something. I don't know. Bound for J Town. <laughs> uh, at Sorgatron yep. on the Twitter, SorgatronMedia.com for all the fine programs. We have a lot of pilots going on, including a new sports show. So if you like uh, sports that are not admittedly scripted, please go check out the Bolt Sports over there uh, and let us know what you <laughs> think about that. And uh, and uh, and uh, some other things like Web Thinger. Go find out what that's about. The 100th episode of Sawtooth Willie with some guy that looks like a guy that used to be on this show. Mm. And, uh, and so much more. Oh, uh, there's a morning show that we put up uh, as well, but we still have to put it on the site. So, um, like a lot of the fun stuff going on around here, and uh, check out information about the N64 No Mercy tournament this Sunday here in the Beach View neighborhood. If you guys are local, over on our Facebook page, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I uh, will see you guys next time. Mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.